Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is part two of our Scandinavian Yum Universal Box. Yum Box. I'm Stuart. I'm Joelle. And thanks for tuning in to Two Max Try. As always, you can check out the social media stuff that shows up at the bottom of our screen here. Yeah. Uh, so we would sure. love to be able to interact with you yeah. on other platforms. And we're trying to get a little more active with the Instagram and the blog and all that stuff, so make right. sure you give that stuff a look. Um, if you didn't get a chance, make sure you check out the first part of the video, which we'll link in the description below. Um, we tried some pretty good And one snack. really bad. <laughs> but we knew it was going to be bad because of our taste for that particular item. No spoilers, right. so you'll have to check out that video to see what that is. So, with that, let's just jump into these snacks. Okay, and I'm excited about all of these. Yeah, they all look really good. Yep. Uh, this will have the Universal Yum's Yum Bag in it, um, so right. it's going to be interesting because one of them is in like a packet and it's a cream, so it yeah. should be interesting. Um, and if you would like to try out any of this stuff, make sure you check out the Universal Yum's website. Um, they it'll don't be sponsor in the us, down but below. it'll be in the description They don't sponsor below. us, but we still highly recommend Absolutely. Um, trying it out. Yeah, it's if you really want to fun. try out new stuff, definitely take a look at that. Yep. Um, and usually the box that we're going through now, you're going to find all this stuff on their website for this month. So Yeah, well, available to buy in yep. their store. Absolutely. All right, so let's get into this. Where should we start? Let's just start here we'll and we'll start go down the line. Yeah. All right, so there are two we kinds have of gummies. Two gummies. Um, one looks like it's. I don't know what it is. That's cola. Okay. And this, and this is. Strawberry, maybe? Hold on, let me check. Raspberry. Oh, I like raspberry. I enjoy raspberry. So. Should we open them both and you try that these. one and then we'll switch and I'll try this one? I couldn't one. figure out what was on the front and it's like a skull. Is that what it is? I think so. And he, I guess his name is Bubs. Well, it doesn't say they're going to be like super sour or anything. I don't think so. I think they're just gummies. Yeah, I wonder why there's some skulls on them. Yeah, it smells like cola. Oh, sour foam candy with oh, sour taste. foam? That's what it says on the back on mine. Does it say that on the back of yours? Um, uh, cola gummy, cola gummy candy. I don't read that. Cola Sir flavored Sokra. mind gum. Right yeah. There. And mine says sour foam candy. Oh, so they're different, I guess. I think so. All right. Well, yeah, I'm gonna try are the cola one. Skulls? They are. Mine too. Okay. So let's and I got the, the raspberry. Ooh. They are sour. Mm-hmm. Because the sour doesn't last long. No. It's not like... I'll have to look up which video it is. One of the videos we had some stuff that was like really oh sour. Was that France? Maybe. It was re more recent. Mm -hmm. When we find it, we'll put it in the description. Right. I think it was France because you ate it and it was like... I couldn't finish it. Like I sour it hit out. you. It made you drool. It was so it bad. It was so bad. Um, it was like warheads, but like... Times infinity. Right. Um, as far as the cola flavor goes, though, it's a nice gummy. It's not super hard, not super chewy. It does stick to your teeth a little bit, so I think it's going to lose some points for that. Yeah. Flavor-wise, though, it's pretty good. I'm going to give it a uh, seven. It is chewy. and still chewing. For some reason, and I don't know if I can tell you why, it reminds me of medicine. Oh, that's not good. Like maybe uh, like a moxicillin where they have like the ones that are flavored. Oh, uh, that's really not good. You'll have to try it. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think. Yeah. So what do you rate it? Um, a five. <coughs> if it wasn't for that, like that weird taste. flavor that I get, it would be higher. It's Was this good. sour? A little bit. Okay. But it didn't last long. Okay. It might be weird to have raspberry and then cola flavored things. Raspberry cola? No, you don't think that's. I don't think good. that's a thing. Uh, it should be. Oh, that one is sour. Yeah. It is. I don't know what the foaming is. It doesn't foam. Maybe it's just the kind of candy because this one is almost like a circus peanut. Yeah. Maybe that's what it's referring to. Um. Because it definitely has that circus peanutty texture. Yeah, I actually like this one better. The yeah. cola one. Sorry, that's what I'm trying. I would agree with that. Um, 
And you're right, this does have a very medicinal face. Um, so, but they're not bad. Um, no, but they're kind of weird. And I, I give the cola ones a six. Yeah, I would not say that this is raspberry flavored. Um, no, it's not. I'm going to give it a five. For I'm kind of disappointed. I was, especially the raspberry, I was hoping it would be. Right, I was hoping for more. They'll yeah. get eaten, but yeah, it's just kind of like. Not by me. Definitely. And I'm a huge fan of raspberry. Yeah. So if there's raspberry something, I'm really excited about it. But you can pass on these. Yeah, that's sad. Definitely try the cola ones though. I think they're worth a try at least once. Yeah. I if think you so like too. gummies and like sour things. It's always weird to have the cola flavor without the carbonation. Like right. it's just, it's not bad. It's just you yeah, don't normally true. have that flavor without Basically, fizzing. syrup is yeah, what you're, yeah, yeah. you're getting. So. Yep. All right. So do Definitely we do weird. the candy bars or the? Cookies. Let's next. do the cookies next the cookies because next. I'm really excited about these. All right, so we've got two cookies here. Um, you're gonna have to look up the names. Of them. This one is puff pastry with cream filling. Okay, and this is some kind of chocolate. Yeah, let me find that one. Oh, here we go. Oat cookies with cocoa right. filling. Okay. Oat cookies with cocoa filling, yep. and then puff pastry with cream filling. Is that? Yep. Like vanilla cream, I'm guessing. I'm assuming. It that like was what it would look like, right? Vanilla. vanilla Jack Krim. I don't know. I can't. I Everything can't you say is French. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. There you go. That's like like you have a default of exaggeration number <laughs> minus forty-seven. Of France. And my Every default. Every country's language is French. <laughs> my default. Oh, these are much larger than I thought they were. Oh, these got a little crunch. That's okay. Are we going to do that one first? Yeah, we can. Okay. You want to just split this one? Is it splittable? Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah. That's I'll okay. give you the bigger piece. Yeah, I like a gentleman. So. Okay. Yeah, oatmeal with I like I like oatmeal with cookies, cream. but these are like so, crunchy cookies. Yeah, this is a little different. So let's give it a try. Ooh. Oh, my. Oh, this is very, very crunchy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Flavor-wise, they're good. Yeah. But they almost need to be dipped in something. Yeah. To soften them up a little Coffee. bit. Coffee? Mm-hmm. Coffee, tea, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, the chocolate flavor is really good. Yeah, it is nice. Um, and I'm not always the hugest fan of oatmeal cookies, but I think chocolate is pretty powerful. The crunchiness just caught us off guard. Right. Once you know that's what you're getting, it's pretty good. But I would say as far as, which I'm just going to call this a sandwich cookie goes, I like this. I'm going to give it an eight. I think it's pretty good. Well, I'm still eating. Yeah, right? I'm gonna give it an eight too. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. That's good. It's just a shame that I think there's only four of them in there. Oh. Well, that's not, oh yeah, you're right, four. That's not very many at all. <laughs> I might lower my score because you only get four. <laughs> so because of how many you get, it knocks <laughs> points off. Yeah, you get eight of them in, in this one. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll have to order stuff from online. Oh right. yeah, these got a little crunched in them. Yeah, they did. Holy cow. In delivery. And I'm kind of sad because the cream is not like in the whole cookie. It's just in the center. Yeah. Oh and yeah. And it is not like soft. So. I was excited. I love puff pastry. Well, right. But if you're thinking of getting anything like this, you probably don't want to get these because that's how they ended up getting here. Um, some to be aware of. Yeah. They don't travel well. These being hard as a brick. Travel just fine. Travel just fine. <laughs> but They're a little more delicate. All right, let's give them a try. Mm. Much easier to bite through. But they are good. <laughs> um, I okay. give these a nine. I think for me, being having issues with textures. Oh, yeah? The cream is like a, almost like a marshmallow which oh. I'm not the hugest fan of. Okay. Um, at least it reminds me of a marshmallow cream. Um, they're not bad though. This makes me do a little happy dance. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. um, like I would finish this. So with that in mind, I'm gonna give it a six. I am gonna finish this. <laughs> and I give it a nine. Wow. So. Mm -hmm. I yep. will say their cookie game is pretty strong. Um, well, these were both the same brand, the right. Karen Volf. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely check those out if you get a chance. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Next we have some chocolate bars, um, which our experience is hit or miss with chocolate bars. That's true. We've had a number of countries that did really well. Germany does really well. I'll see if, do we have a, I don't know if we have I don't think we have a video of Germany. Um, what box did we have last month? Was it Brazil? Yes. That did really well with chocolate? Mm -hmm. Brazil did well with chocolate. Germany does well with chocolate. So let's see what Scandinavia does. Yeah, I'm excited does. for that one. Oh yeah? All right, so where do we want to start here? Let's start with that one. You want to start with the one that you're really excited mm -hmm. about? Milk chocolate with strawberry and caramel. Oh, well that does sound good. Right? All right. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. They're like three little pieces. Yeah. Do you, I guess we should do one of each, like each person gets one. Yeah, well, if they're really good, I would like my own. <laughs> <laughs> if they're disgusting, however. You can have them all. <clears throat> but they're like little. Well, just because to split this, they're little skulls. Uh -huh. So this is made it by. It says Bubs. Bubs again. So that's the same people that did the gummies. Oh, these? So. Oh, yeah, you're right. They really like death. Yeah, I wonder. No one. Whoa! I must have missed what, if this has some kind of like meaning or like yeah, I don't know. symbolism. I don't so know. So this is like a strawberry coal you're saying. Or just, no. Strawberry caramel. Strawberry caramel. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's give it a try. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, the chocolate's pretty overpowering. You think? Mm -hmm. Or I just didn't get a good bite of... Well, the chocolate's good. It is good. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. I kind of just want the cream and see what that's. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's These are yummy. pretty good. Um. I give this a nine. Wow. I really love the strawberry caramel. Cream. I wish the strawberry was a little stronger. No. Yeah. So for that, I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it an eight. Mm. But yeah, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. The chocolate is good. It's creamy. Mm -hmm. I'm nice. It doesn't have that waxy chocolate mm -hmm. taste that. Sorry, Hershey's, but. Yeah, that is yummy. Okay, after that, I don't really care which one we do next. <laughs> that was the one I was kind of excited about, and it lived up to my expectations. Yay! So that is the Choc Scalle or Scalle or Chocolate Skulls. Basically. At least that's what we think it says. <laughs> um. I don't know what this right, is. This one is milk chocolate with salted caramel crispies. Mm -hmm. I think they're both caramel <clears throat> and chocolate. It definitely looks like caramel. All right, let's go with this one. It's got a cat on it. Okay, that's milk chocolate wafer with rice crispies and caramel. So yeah, they are very very similar. Very similar. Oh, this is. Maybe just take a bite. It's like someone meshed a uh, baby Ruth with a crunch bar. There you go. You heard it here first. <laughs> I don't see any caramel. It's in there. Kind of binds oh, it together. I see it. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. It's not very flavorful. Mm -mm. Um, out of the chocolate stuff or the candy stuff we've had. Um, I give it. It's six. It's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Right. It just wouldn't be my first or second choice. I think I'm gonna have to ask myself, would I, if I were in a store, buy that? No. And the answer is no. But I would buy the raspberry caramel skulls. So for that reason, I'm gonna say a four. Oh, okay. Um, I've done some thinking and I've changed the way I'm ranking everything. Oh yeah. Oh, you've changed I up. Have. I'm evolving, Joelle. <laughs> Better or worse? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Well, are you going to tell us how you're going to... I would say that... How you're changing your ranking? If I would buy it, like if I were in a store and I were impulse buying, uh -huh. like people usually Like they have it. it by the register. The question is, would I go for that? Okay. And if the answer is no, it's going to fall five or Okay. Lower, oh, okay. Is how that's going to work. Okay. And if so, the answer is yes, it would be a, a right. five. Right. Okay. Exactly. All right. So that Villic... Coter, Vil, Vil Coter. Sure. If Air you want to try it, try it, but it's Oh, not. that means wildcat. Oh, well, there you in go. In Icelandic. There you go. So, <clears throat> I leave that up to you if That's you want to try. Uh, That's called wildcat. Why don't <laughs> we have any candy bars named after 
wild animal. I don't know, Joel. I, I'm not in the candy business. <laughs> Alright, so this one is salted caramel We're and rice. Naming candies, gobstoppers and I nerds. know, right? So, nerds. Alright, so this has crispies in it as well. Salted caramel crispies. Oh, another bite it and see how it goes. And this is called Draumer, which means dream Ooh, in Icelandic. Hard. Yeah, look, they're, they're like they're not like fully covered. Mm -hmm. And it has a little cat on it. Well there you go. Because it's the same company. Oh very my. hard to bite into. Flavor-wise, it's good. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, it is good. It's, salted, it's like really, it's like almost solid chocolate with little crispy. Right. The salted caramel comes through, which is I think nice. it's more salty than caramel though. It is, yeah. There's definitely a heavier salt intake on that. Um, I definitely like it better than the Me one too. we just had. Me too. I don't like it as much as the nope. the skulls. And what did I give the skulls? An eight? Yeah, I give it a nine. I'm gonna give these a seven. Me too. I think that's it's pretty good. Um would you buy it in a store? I think I would. Oh okay. Yeah, I think I would. Okay. Well then that lives up to your that's making right. system. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Now we're on to the yum bag and yep, there's four different last. things in here. And I don't know where you want to I think we start, start with you that. You want to start with the cream? Yeah. Just making a mess here. Well, it's what you do. It's what I do. Everyone's got to have a gift. Mine's making a mess. All right, but I, I think, think we, we only, only need one. Yeah, yeah, we don't need one. All right, so we're going to bring back the biscuits that we had from last time. The first time. half, if you haven't watched that yet, it'll be in the description down below. We suggest you watch it. Right. Um, so this is a. <laughs> that is not. Cream. Says not cream. So <laughs> you don't have to worry if this is cream. You might not like this. I probably won't. Because it's chocolate hazelnut, yeah. like Nutella. Yeah. So it's not that I hate Nutella. I'm just. Well, yeah, I know. But I'm it, never this craving is, it. This says it's a higher ratio of hazelnut to chocolate, so it's gonna be more hazelnutty. More less. nutty. Yeah, more nutty, less chocolatey, and this is a Swedish. All right. I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Ooh, it looks interesting. It looks like poop. <laughs> oh, it smells like hazelnut. It's not appetizing to look at, that's for yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright. You ready? It's like it's like focusing on my face and it needs to not focus on my face. It needs to focus it's, on it's my face. It's got the cookie. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Ready? Yep. Oh, it's really sweet. Oh, I like it. It definitely helps these out. Yeah, um, a whole bunch. Yeah, it's actually not bad. Um, I don't know. I don't think it tastes as hazelnutty as. Oh no. No. Um, it's sweet like a frosting. Like mm -hmm. it's really sweet. Right. But. Yeah. No. Um. Not like a not because hazelnut or Nutella is not sweet like this. I think I'm already gonna have to like mess up my uh -oh. my rating because I wouldn't buy it, um, but if it was around, I'd eat it. He's changing his rating system already. <laughs> what has it been like? Two items? Yep, two items. No, I've been using this for the past two videos. Oh, and you just let us know. Just, you just know let us in on to internet um, now. So yeah, it's not bad. Um, I give it. A seven. <laughs> I was thinking a six. Okay. So I'd go with a six. I guess if I were sticking to my my new rating system, uh -huh. um, I might buy that if I were in the mood for something like chocolatey to spread on a biscuit. <laughs> you know, you know when that mood. You never know. That mood hits when you need something chocolatey to spread on a biscuit. To spread on a biscuit. <clears throat> That's right. So yeah, definitely worth giving it a shot. Okay, next. Oh, uh, we have two different toffees and then we have a, I don't know what it's this a, is. It's a cookie dough pra, praline, praline. Okay, praline. I don't think anything is hard candy. Okay. Well, let's start with the praline. I don't know how hard these are. And then we'll get into the no, toffees. Kind of so, cookie dough praline. Yeah, I think it has like a, like a cream in it. Like it's not, it's like a, at least from the pictures I saw on the Universal. This is not cream either. 
That's what it says. It's, I guess that's the company. Oh, okay. Oh, it's from the same people that yep, did the spread. Same people that spread. did the spread there. So. Okay. All right, I feel. Oh. Hmm. I think it would have been bamboozled. Bamboozled? I think this is the same cream that's in there. No. I think so. I don't think so. Oh no. There's definitely like a grittiness to this that that doesn't have. Okay, I'm gonna taste that again. I actually could see kids loving this. Oh yeah. It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's got that. No, it's not the same. Okay. Well, as I said, um, it's different textures, but at the same time, not that I usually eat cookie dough. Joelle does, but mm -hmm. it Don't almost seems anyone. like You're it's closer to, to a, like a brownie batter than a cookie dough. No, but it would be like a super duper loose cookie dough. Like this is like, a... right. It was definitely much creamier. Yeah. Than cookie dough would be, but Can eating one of these is really sweet. Yeah. Like. I'm good with just half. Mm. I finished mine. Yeah, yeah, you did. Um, Flavor-wise, it's good. If you really like sweets, I think you would enjoy that. As Joel said, kids would love it. Um, it's pretty much just a sugar ball. Yeah. Um, Masquerading as cookie dough. <clears throat> Apparently, right. these come from, um, in Sweden, Gota Bitten is apparently one of the world's largest candy shops, filled with over 4,000 unique sweets. Oh. Um, so if you're in Sweden, check that out. Yep. All right. Um, so I'm going to rate it a seven. Um, I'm going to give it a five. Oh, wow. Lower. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I would, I, I don't need to eat it again. No? All it's right. It's not bad, but I would not choose to eat that. It is very rich. It's very sweet. Yeah, and usually I'm more into sweets than you are, but mm -hmm. eh. Yeah, I think flavor wise it's good though. All right. All right, so we either have gingerbread, gingerbread toffee or toffee. bubblegum yeah. fizzy toffee. Bubblegum toffee? Let's start with the gingerbread. Okay, I I'm think that's a good idea. Not too sure how this is gonna work. Gingerbread is not something I'm gonna It kind of feels now and later y. Yeah. It's like definitely a harder hard. toffee. Like it doesn't, there's no give to that. Oh. I'm not biting, I just put the whole thing. Mm. I don't care for that. Oh no? Mm -hmm. It tastes like Christmas. I'm not, you know. It's got a heavy molasses taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, right. Right. Your bread is. Mm. Oh, it sticks your teeth. I haven't tried to bite it yet. There's nothing I like about this. Um, really? Nothing? It's not as bad as the one thing from the last video. Mm. That's cute. Thanks. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give that a three. Oh my goodness, no. I wouldn't eat that. I'm not gonna finish it because it would take too long, but I give it like a six. It has like those warm spices mm -hmm. that I really like. Well, there you go. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> All right, and that brings us to the last one. The, the last one. Fizzy bubblegum toffee. Which is pink and blue. It looks like that. Is it, it's as hard as the- It smells bubble like bubblegum. Yeah. Like everything that's supposedly flavored bubblegum. I don't know where the fizzy comes in though. Mm -hmm. It tastes like blue raspberry. Yeah. It tastes like every oh, artificial bubble gum flavored thing. But I don't get fizzy at all. Mm -mm. Fizzy must mean something else in. Yeah, because you bet through it. Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't like the stickiness of it. Yeah. And I know it's toffee. Like, I That's get that. What it is. It's going to be what it's going to be, but. Um, hmm. I think I like the gingerbread one better. So I'm gonna give this like a four. I think flavor-wise I like this one better, but I'm gonna give it a four. Oh, one way that's the same. 
I wouldn't buy this. I wouldn't buy that either. I might buy the gingerbread toffee. I wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. <laughs> <clears throat> and now I've got this piece of toffee stuck in we'll my spit teeth. Spit it out. Or you I can't. It's it stuck. It's stuck. It'll be there forever. The next video you're going to see is Two Max Try the Dentist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I got to say, um, I think the first video was more successful. Oh, you think so? I think so. There were highlights here. Yeah. Um, the cookies were really good. Right. And the raspberry caramel bar was really good. Yeah. Those would be my top ones out of this video. Raspberry caramel bar? I mean, sorry, strawberry, strawberry caramel. caramel. Sorry, the strawberry one. Yeah. Um, but I liked trying all these different things. Right, yeah, they were definitely worth trying. Yeah, for sure. And a lot of interesting things. Um, Stuff we haven't seen yet, really. Yeah, I'm just trying so to... Cool think here what I would label is my favorite and it probably will be the strawberry caramel skulls. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as far as this stuff goes. So yeah, this was fun. Yeah. So if you got this box or if you've tried any of these things, let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Um, and that is going to do it for us for this video. Yeah. So we thank you so much for taking the time to watch, like, comment, subscribe, follow all that fun. All that good stuff. stuff. Um, and until next time guys, take care. And we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.